Oh, fuck, my nose is so ruddy. God damn. But anyways, welcome back, everyone, to another video. In today's video, I've made a script for Lost Rooms. This is pretty, uh, pretty OP. Um, I pretty much scripted everything I could in this game. I don't think there's anything else to add, but, you know, you could leave suggestions down in the comments. And I'll add it if it sounds good. But once you open the game, let's head on over to Create and just start a match. Um, you'll be teleported to another place. It's just like a paraphobia. You need to create a lobby first. So once you're in that lobby, you'll be teleported to Zone 1. This is the part where you execute the script, just like in a paraphobia. You execute it in the game, not the lobby. You have to execute it once the game is actually finished loading. Um, once you wake up, basically. Um, there's this little, um, video gonna play, just like a paraphobia, which is, a uh, this game has a story, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> just skip that shit. Uh, okay, then you just, uh, pretty much just wait until you wake up, and we're gonna run it. But basically, how do you get the script is, get, find the script down in the description, then get your key through this link right here. Yeah, get your key through this link right here, and then paste your key in between these apostrophes, and you're done. Just press execute. Then you'll just see this little bar right here, load up, zone 1 detected, yada yada yada, exit and then I'll authenticate you, and then yep, you're gonna be loaded in. Now this is the script. So we'll start off with time. Uh, first for time, it's just uh, showing you the amount of, uh, it's just showing you the time of day, uh, or whatever. I put PM and AM just like how the watch works in this game, but the watch in this game that actually tells time doesn't tell you the minutes, it just tells you the hour. And I added uh, uh, some calculations to actually determine the amount of minutes, basically. So yeah, you can actually see the minutes. So next is infinite stamina. That's already on. And as you can see, I'm not losing any stamina. The stamina bar is this orange thing. Yeah, that's the stamina bar. Uh, as you can see, I'm sprinting and I'm not actually... Uh, losing any stamina and next is set sprint speed you can set the sprint speed of your character to around um, 30 to 50 or lower if you want to but next is auto loot uh, auto loot will basically just automatically loot the place for you I don't know why it doesn't loot this room yet but I don't really care to make a fix for it because it's just glass and you know glass is kind of useless let's go my nose is dripping what the fuck? It's like I'm sick. Damn. But uh, if I walk over these items, as you can see, it's automatically picking them up. That's what auto loot is. It's basically just like an auto pickup. As you can see, I walk over these things and I'm picking all of them up. There's gunpowder and stuff. Yeah, if I walk into anywhere, uh, I'll pick it up. The only thing this avoids is... Um, this completely avoids coffee but if you disable infinite stamina it will pick up coffee uh next is auto stats now i've made this really well and um i really wanted to add this because i'm just so lazy to craft stuff in this game but basically there's a crafting mechanic where you can craft med kits game pa um, game passes uh armor and stuff uh, and weapons etc so i added a little auto stat feature which will automatically if you are below 60 health um it will automatically buy a med kit and equip it for you so and as you can see, I also automatically um, wore armor. Yeah, I, it's, <laughs> you you kind of didn't see it though. It was very quick, but it's automatically also going to give you armor if you can afford it. Now, armor is crafted by fabric, so if you have enough fabric, it will craft uh, armor for you. And there's two pieces of armor, so yeah. Um, I think it crafted leg armor, but now I just have to craft a vest armor, and that's about 30 fabric. So I'm gonna walk up to this guy really quick. Uh, I also added ESP, but we'll get to that later. Just fucking hit me, bro. There okay. go. Okay. Uh, I'll get to uh, most of these later, but, uh, um, there's an animation that plays when he's attacking you, and I turn that off. Right down below, no jump scares, but, uh, we'll, we'll get to that later. Um, I'm just gonna drain him, uh, so you guys can see this. Oh, wait, right, I need, uh, fabric. Damn. Uh, it takes three fabrics to actually craft a medkit, so I have three now. Uh, if we just go to him, I'm just gonna show you that it works. Uh, first thing, you have to, it, it drains your, uh, armor. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna start taking jam damage right now. So if he hits me one more time. Yep, as you can see, I, uh, automatically bought a medkit and y used it. So yeah, that's what that does. Next, um, and also this will automatically make you drink water and eat if you have food in your inventory. If you do not have food in your inventory, it will not drink. This will also work if you have food or drinks in your backpack as well. And you can see your backpack storage by uh, pressing space. Uh, everything's pretty self-explanatory there. But automatically it will make you eat. 
Um, I can show you this really quick. Uh, I'm not gonna touch my food or anything. But basically, auto auto stats is part of auto eat, and it will automatically eat food when you are below 75 on one of the bars that you require food on. So if we just chill, I guess. I guess we're gonna have to drink first. But as you can see, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my I'm gonna equip the can so you can see like it automatically do its stuff. So it says 76, 75, and then. Boom! Automatically drinks your water if you have it in your inventory or in your backpack. So yeah, that's what auto stats is. It's pretty useful. It's just to like, you know, if you don't want to drink or eat, you know, you can just automatically do it for you. Uh, I did the same thing for 3008, that uh, that SCP game. So yeah, it's pretty similar to the Rake and uh, that game. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I also added crafting in this game because, uh, well, an auto craft because I'm too lazy to craft stuff myself. And uh, what this basically will do is just, it'll craft stuff that you uh, want in the game. Um, but keep in mind, it says none. So if you actually want to craft something, make sure you turn off none. And then select what you want to craft. Like that. After you select what you want to craft, make sure you have space in your inventory. Because it will not actually buy the thing if you do not have space in your inventory. So yeah, make sure you have space. I'm going to use up a few and I have two spots now. So if I auto craft, as you can see, it's going to place a bear trap or not place a bear trap. It's going to buy the bear trap. But if you automatically, uh, this will also check if you have a bear trap in your inventory already or in your backpack. So if you have one of those, um, already it's not gonna buy the trap it's gonna it's gonna only buy items if you have them if you don't have them so if you already have them it will not buy so if i place this down it's gonna buy another bear trap as you can see so uh yeah that's what that does and if you want to stop it crafting just you know just turn it off next is auto items this will automatically collect all the items in the game and just teleport to them as you can see i'll just look down so you can see what you're actually collecting so yeah that's it that's all that it does uh you can just see what it's collecting and stuff but yeah if you want to just uh not make it collect anymore just uh turn it off it's automatically gonna stop the moment you press off uh next is esp players and esp monster you can already see monster but it's the same thing it's I made the ESP the same way I did for the Rake Remastered, so if you haven't used that script or, uh, you know, you can try it out. I, it's pretty much the same ESP that I used, uh, because I think this ESP just looks really neat, and it looks, you know, beautiful to look at. It's not annoying or anything, it's not out of, you know, it's not too obvious or just, like, really ugly. It just looks, you know, neat. <laughs> That's the only word I could come up for. Um, but next, uh, we're pretty close already. There's only two left I can really talk about, which is Toggle Light. Um, this is on by default as most of these things as you saw on execute were on by default because I just want to have them on the moment I launch the game, but um, toggle light will basically just oh What the fuck? Oh, right. It's automatically gonna open this It's also gonna automatically open the loot box if there's a loot box. It's gonna do that automatically if you uh, If you turn on auto loot auto loot is part of the loot box by the way So yeah, basically this game has a way of setting its night mode uh, there's a day and night mode and um, this applies to certain um, things in the game so and this is basically just like you know how to what is the day cycle or the night cycle and I just copied the um, light settings uh, the day and night settings for this game so uh, you can actually use it if you want a night setting or a, a, a day setting so at day uh, all the lights are gonna be on and there's gonna be this little haze or whatever basically just this is just how it looks when it's daytime um, but if you turn it off, this is how it looks when it's night. Yeah, this is how it's gonna look. I don't know why that's on. That's kind of... Okay, that's... that's <laughs> uh, I should probably fix that. I think that's a bug, but these should be black. Uh, well, I'm kind of lazy, I'm be honest. But basically, that's what this is. This is night mode. Uh, these lights wouldn't be on at night mode. I don't know why they're fucking... What the fuck? Why are they... But, um, yeah, those lights are supposed to be off, but this is how it actually is when it's night. It's pretty dark, but if you want a day, you know, it's just, um, there you go. I usually leave that on because I don't like the night. It's too dim and it's too dark. It's hard to see anything, really, but I guess that's for the immersion. But next is no jump scares. As you can see, when I first started to test the med kit, um, when I did that, there was actually no, uh, animation when it hit me. Um, and that's because I, this is on. Um, but if you turn this off, it's gonna be really annoying when this fucker hits you. It's just gonna be really painful, but, uh, you know, you can turn it off if you want to, if you want to feel the jump scare. I think that's all I really disabled. 
Uh, yeah. Well, also the turning effect, by the way. This all th this turns off the um, hit animation when he's attacking you, so you don't actually get that annoying animation. Because when he hits you, you automatically look down at the floor, and it's really annoying. So yeah, that's what that does. You can actually like uh, not deal with any of those annoying jump scares. I turned it off just like in my Rake Remaster script because it is very annoying. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we can t I could show you that. It's gonna be night anyway. Uh, by the way, it automatically turns night when it's 12 p.m. and it turns day when it's 6 a.m. So as you can see, it's 12 p.m. now, so it's gonna be dark. Uh, okay. So we're just gonna go over to this guy. Uh, okay. So we're just gonna run to him. I'm gonna turn off. No jump scares. So if I if I if I ever catch eyes with him, he's gonna force me to look at him. Uh, like that. Ah, oh, fuck. But yeah, it's gonna do that. And then this hit animation when he hits me. Hang on. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, this isn't working? Hello? I don't know what the fuck is going on. But, uh, that should be working. Ah! <laughs> uh, okay, that's bugged. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What the fuck? Okay, that's a weird bug. I don't know. It should be- It should be working, but I don't know why the animation isn't playing anymore, even though I turned it off. Uh... I guess I'll fix that in the next update, but I'm getting this video out anyway. Uh, but yeah, if you turn that off, it should restore the jump scare or whatever. If you want that, uh, but it's pretty annoying. Um, if you, you know, don't, but it, but it's pretty annoying. Just, just letting you know, it's pretty annoying. It's like, I'm just gonna reenact it, I guess, since I can't show you and I'm too lazy to rejoin this game. But, um, basically, you're gonna look down like this, ah, uh, and then... Yeah, it's just gonna force your camera to look down. It's pretty annoying, and when he's near you, he's gonna force you to look at him, just like in the Rake Remastered. So yeah, those things are gonna be disabled by default, uh, but you can disable them again if you don't want that, and you wanna actually use the jump scares. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for this. I guess recording this video, man, I was already, like, debugging this, and there's still fucking bugs. God damn it. But you know what? It is what it is. Um, it's only a few bugs anyway. I'll get them fixed. The light bug and... The no jump scare bug, I guess. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for using my script.